Hi and welcome to CTN Journal, I'm Jordan Rylance. A Coon Rapids kindergartner had her wish granted when she flew off to Disney World with her family this spring. But that wish came at the end of a very long journey marked by surgeries, hospital stays and treatments. <laughs> Isabella Reese is six. I'm over here. Loves to color, play with My Little Ponies and knows all things princess. That, Rapunzel. That's Rapunzel. With the longest hair. But just a year and a half ago, life was very different for Isabella. I walked and walked. I tried to walk and I walked when I got sick. Isabella's mom brought her to the doctor when she noticed something was wrong. She was off balance. She started falling a lot more. Um, Closer to the days we brought her in, she literally walked into walls. Um, she lost coordination, everything. Then the MRI results came back. She had a tumor bigger than a golf ball in the back of her cerebellum. I just went numb. I don't know how to explain it. You just go numb and you do what you have to do. Sorry. <laughs> That's hard. Absolutely. All that stuff was really, really hard. Isabella was diagnosed with a stage three medulloblastoma brain tumor in the area of the brain that affects balance, coordination, and motor skills. I crawl in a hot tub. Two days after discovering the tumor, it was successfully removed. But then, another setback. She did suffer um, posterior cerebellum mutism, okay. and that's where she lost all movement, all function, all motor skills, everything. She couldn't blink her eyes, lift her legs, cry, nothing. Then the treatments began. That's from my port. 30 rounds of radiation, seven rounds of chemo. Karen cut it at my house, and my mom cut it at the doctor. Were you sad when you had to lose your hair for a little bit? Yeah. It would take a year to complete. Where'd they put the tube? In my belly. In your belly? In my nose. Was it in your belly, in your nose? Yeah. When we started radiation, she still wasn't moving. So we did the radiation therapy. She got sedated every round of it. And by the end of radiation, she was starting to walk again. And today, Mom, two, where are my shoes? She's running. Well, now you're just going to be faster when they're on the right feet. Yes, you did. I put them on you? Or did yes. you put them on you? You! Isabella would soon trade in her braces for glass slippers. I heard this is who you were most excited to meet. Send them around as the Make-A-Wish Foundation stepped in to play Fairy Godmother. With Bella it was fun because she knew exactly what she wanted to do. You know, she wanted a tea party and she wanted to, you know, meet the princesses. And with that, Isabella and her family were off to Disney World. Did you get to go on some rides? Yeah. Any of them scary? The roller coaster, not scary. <laughs> not much can scare Isabella after what she's been through. I come in just a minute. Whoa! <sighs> And so what's it like for you to be able to see her just running and playing now? It's amazing. I, honestly, I didn't know if it would ever happen again, but it is amazing. In the fall of 2016, Isabella was declared cancer free. It's amazing to watch her smile. It's amazing to watch her run. You know, and you get so close just with the family that you try and do whatever you can to make it a little bit easier. And to see the outcome on the end is the best thing. Carla V's new normal is enjoying the sounds of her children bickering, <laughs> remaining patient when Isabella wants to do everything herself. This is how you get up, one feet at a time. And watching her daughter walk, run, and play. Little things that add up to life's defining moments. It's good to have, have her back. It's good to have her home. <laughs> I see your car. Isabella will continue physical and occupational therapy as her recovery continues. She says she's most looking forward to swimming and playing this summer. If you're interested in becoming a Make-A-Wish volunteer, you can head to their website, mn.wish.org, to learn more. Thanks for watching this episode of CTN Journal. I'm Jordan Rylance. We'll see you next time.